What's your babies doing? What's your babies doing? Okay, they're going to fall through the doggy door. Except you. What are you doing? You can see Benson? You can see Benson? It's mommy. It's mommy. It's mommy. Benson? They're gone. Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a voiceover today because my dogs and puppies were making such a racket. I couldn't even think properly. So I didn't want to have you guys have to endure that. Just using some leftover paints that I've had from this week. What am I doing there? And I'm going to load them up into a flip cup. So I'm kind of doing a flip cup that'll, oh, it'll explain itself as you go along, as we go along. These are leftover. Some of them are the Montmartre acrylics and then there's the boom gel um, stain that was mixed with water to thin it down that I'd done a Dutch pour earlier in the week. So I'm just putting them all in a cup and seeing what I get. So I know there's bronze there, there's burnt umber, there was the sand from the boom gel and this is the white from the boom gel paint. So there's a bit of a mixture so I'm going to just see how they all go when they're basically just thrown in the pot together. This one was cerulean blue and that was the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. So it is going to be interesting to see if the different um, densities of the paint, because there are some thin and there are some thick, really make much difference, um, you know, putting, putting in, the, in the cup together. That was um, the Montmartre, uh, la, 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 rewind, that was the Montmartre navy that I make out of the phalo blue, blob of black and a blob of green. And then I'm going back to, oh no, I've decided not to. <laughs> Scooting my canvas over as you do, doing a flip cup pour. I've got a little bit, not sure if that, that might actually be gold. It's gold, it's not bronze, it is gold. It's the Montmartre gold and it's mixed with my normal pouring medium. The pouring medium recipe is in the drop down box and how I mix my paints. So my stockist that I get from the online store in Australia is there. There is also, you can get all of these paints um, from Amazon if you're in the UK or Europe or US. And one thing I was told this week, which I'm very happy about, is that a lady has confirmed with me that Hobby Lobby in the US has started to stock Montmartre paints and products. So I'm pretty sure you'll be getting absolutely everything that I get in the Montmartre very easy at your Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. I wish I had a Hobby Lobby here. I would probably never be out of it but easier that you have online because it's delivered to my door in Australia. So that's what's great about Capriole Shabby Chic online. So there you go. I'm excited for you guys to think that you can just get all the same paints I'm getting and then uh, different things you try with it, you can let me know. Here's for the big flip and lip. There you go. It's the lip of the paint through the canvas. And I get an abundance of cells popping up straight away without doing anything to. So that was interesting, but the paint is very, very thin. Um, the, the ones that are poured into cup and the ex ones around the outside are thicker. So it was kind of trying to see if the two densities actually, yeah, worked nicely together or they're going to fight each other. 
just giving it a nice gentle tilt take your time there's no hurry it's your art therapy session remember so just have nice thoughts while you're doing it tilting away thinking good thoughts it's yeah definitely a therapy session is this acrylic art sometimes it can be frustrating if you don't get the actual results that you're expecting but remember um, it's only paint don't stress over it and what you probably think is a whole holy mess somebody else will think it's absolutely beautiful so it's kind of come a bit like a cloud pour because those cells in there are like big puffy clouds I'm giving it my butane torch instead of my heat gun I think just for a change I like to use that but don't use a butane if you're not confident or you haven't got oh, what you do or you haven't got a fire extinguisher Jilly's decided she's gonna swipe it in the metallic black I'm pretty sure that metallic black was the um, folk art um, charcoal metallic black so now I'm gonna make it a starry starry night so you'll see these cells are popping up beautifully actually get a really nice result from that particular swipe over what I just oh look at those the cells are astonishing is that a word for cells they're astonishing crazy gorgeous cells cells within cells that gold was popping up through oh thumbs up Julie she likes it it's kind of looked like really 3d floating cells so this was a quickie for you guys wait on for the photos at the end and thanks so much much for joining me on my little art lab experiment day again you know look at what i got out of dumping me leftover paints basically in a cup and flipping it and a swipe now that swipe metallic black has left that gorgeous outline around the cells and look at the cells in cells beautiful i love it okay thank you guys stay safe keep calm until next time Bye for now.